Angelina and Henry. Story by Catherine Holabird. Illustrations by Helen Craig. Narrated by me. Angelina could hardly wait to go camping in the Big Cat Mountains with Uncle Louie. I'll dance under the stars. She smiled as she spun around the room. Little Cousin Henry showed off his Panama hat. I'm going to be a great explorer, he announced. Are you fit and fearless? Uncle Louie asked with a wink. Big Cat could still be up there. They set off early the next morning with Mrs. Mouseling's cheese crumpets still warm in their pockets. At first, Angelina skipped and twirled along the winding trail. Then she noticed Uncle Louie disappearing up the mountain and had to race to catch up. As they climbed higher and higher, Angelina began to feel very hot and tired. Henry happily jogged ahead of her. You're too slow, Angelina, he teased. Big Cat will get you. My backpack is so heavy, moaned Angelina. Only another mile or two to go, Uncle Louie encouraged her. At last they reached the top of the mountain, and Angelina collapsed with a sigh. We've got to set up camp before sunset, said Uncle Louie, showing Angelina and Henry how to unpack. Can we have our campfire now? Angelina asked hopefully. You'll need to collect some wood, Uncle Louie replied, while I put up the tents. Henry scampered off into the trees. Let's explore, he shouted, waving a stick. We have to find the firewood first, Angelina reminded him. But it was much more fun exploring. And soon the two little mouselings were deep in the forest. They played hide-and-seek and sword fighting and then they discovered a secret fort. Before long, they'd forgotten all about Uncle Louie and collecting firewood. When they finally stopped to look around, the forest was growing dark and shadowy. The wind was beginning to whistle, and strange shapes loomed behind the trees. Henry dropped his stick. I'm hungry, he whimpered. Meow. Something howled behind them. What's that? Henry squeaked. He grabbed Angelina's tail. Two large ears twitched behind a tree. It's just a shadow, whispered Angelina, pulling Henry into the fort. A black tail flashed by in the wind. Big cat's coming, wailed Henry, hiding his eyes. We'll just have to be brave said Angelina, and she leaped out into the dark night. Shoo! 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 She shouted, waving her sword. Rain pelted down and thunder roared. Then lightning struck, and a big branch crashed to the ground. Big Cat vanished. Poor Henry's whiskers were trembling. Angelina held him close, and while the storm raged around them, she made up songs and silly jokes to comfort him. Finally, the wild winds passed. Angelina was soaking wet, but she kept Henry cozy and warm. She gathered him up and set off through the woods, calling for Uncle Louie. Suddenly, Angelina stopped. Two yellow eyes were glinting through the trees. Angelina, Henry, thank goodness you're safe. It was Uncle Louie with two lanterns. He hugged the little mouselings and then carried Henry to the campsite with Angelina lighting the way. They all made the bonfire together and had a great feast of chestnuts and cheddar burgers. Angelina and Henry promised Uncle Louie they'd never run off again, and they told him all about their scary adventure. After supper, Uncle Louie played tunes on his concertina while Angelina and Henry danced around the campfire. 
Before bedtime, they sat out under the stars. I lost my Panama hat, Henry said sadly. But we really scared off old Big Cat, didn't we? Yes, Angelina agreed. And that's because we're both fit and fearless explorers. The End This book was recorded especially for Sylvia. Grandma and Grandpa love you very much, Sylvia. Have a great birthday.